Hello all and welcome back to the channel. I am Ahmed Mahi and this is IA Max. In my previous video, I talked about how to add an Azure AD group using the Azure portal. And that was all good when we had each user part of one group only. Though what will happen if your users are part of multiple groups, one based on their department, one based on their job title, for example, if your user is a manager, and so on. As you can see here, this will become really tricky to keep track of what user is part of which group. This is where the Azure AD dynamic membership type becomes really useful. We could use the user attributes to automatically assign members to our group based on those attributes. So in this video, I'll create an Azure AD group and have the users automatically assigned to that group. So let's dive in. To start logging to the Azure portal by going to the portal.azure.com. And in the Azure portal search, type in Azure Active Directory. Pick the Azure Active Directory from the search results. This will forward us to the Azure Active Directory blind. The first thing we want to take a look at is the users. So on the left side panel, under Manage, click on Users. This will take us to the Users blade. Uh, and we want to assume that our company is an international company here and that we've got offices in New Zealand and Australia. Uh, we've got uh, three user, three HR users that are, they are living in Australia and three HR users that live in New Zealand. We also have an NZHR manager and an Australia HR manager. If we click on one of the users here, let, let's pick the NZHR user one. And if we scroll down, we'll find details about the user. For example, the user is um, in the department HR, and the country that the user lives in is New Zealand. So this is going to become useful. This information is going to become useful later on. I'll show you how. For those users, we want to create three groups. We want to create a group for the Australian employees and another group for the New Zealand employees and a third group for the HR employees, which includes all of these employees since all of them work in the HR department. We will assign members to those groups dynamically or automatically based on an attribute of the user. For example, which department the user work for or which country the user currently live in. So let's do that. Let's go back to the Azure Active Directory. And then under the on the left side panel, under the Manage, Let's click on Groups and then select New Group. This will open up the Create New Group blade. And as we said in the, in the last time, as we just want to create a group that will contain users to give them access to a resource or an application, we will pick the security group here. And next, we will give the group a name. We will call this one NZ Group, which will contain employees that live in New Zealand. For the membership type, we're not going to manually assign those users, so we will pick Dynamic User. And next, we need to pick the owner for this group. So I will pick the uh, NZHR manager to be the owner for the NZ group. To dynamically assign members to our group, we need to create a rule or a query that we will use to check if the attributes of a user matches a value that we specify. And if the user matches that value, he will qualify to be added to this group. To do that, click on Add Dynamic Query. And in here, we will specify the dynamic membership rule that we will use to automatically assign members to our group. This will forward us to the dynamic membership rule blade, where we create the rule that we will use to assign members automatically to our group. And this is for the New Zealand group. So in the property, we need to pick which country the user is from. And then we will need to check what is the operator. So in our case today, we want to pick equals. And what is the value to check against? We will type in New Zealand. 
and that's it. So if you click on the role syntax now, this will show you the syntax of your role, which is telling us user country equals to New Zealand. So just like that, we now specified what type of user that we want to be part of our group based on the country that the group, that, sorry, that the user currently live in. So let's save that. And now our group is ready to be created. So let's create it. This will j just take a second. And as you can see here, we now have our New Zealand group. So let's click on the group. Now that we successfully created our New Zealand group, let's check the members of the group. And as you can see here, we now have every HR employee that lives in New Zealand added to our group. And if you notice here, the, this add members is faded. That is, we are not allowed to manually add members to this group because members are added dynamically or automatically. And finally, we need to check the, uh, on the left side panel, we need to check the dynamic members membership rule. And this is the rule that we used to add members to our group. Next, we want to create a group for the Australian employees. So we will go back to the Azure Active Directory. And from the left side panel under Manage, we go to Group and to a new group. And again, we choose the security group, enter the name for the group. And then the description. And for the membership type, we will pick dynamic users. And for the owner, we will select the Australian HR manager. And finally, we need to create our dynamic query or rule for the dynamic membership for uh, our group. So let's add a, an expression here. And again, we will choose the country equals Australia. So our user country now equals Australia. So let's save that and create our group. The third group we want to create today is the HR group, which should include all the employees, whether they are in Australia or New Zealand, because all of them work for the HR department. So from the Azure Active Directory, on the left side panel, go to the Groups. And then again, New Group, a Security Group, HR Group, HR Employees. And for the Membership Type, we will pick Dynamic User. And then we will pick the Owner. And in this case, we'll pick both Managers. the NZHR manager and the, the Australia HR manager. And finally, we will add our rule or query. And then again, we in this time, we will pick department instead of a country. So type in department in the search box and select it and then equals to HR. And now our syntax says user department equals HR. So let's save that. And let's create our group. The final group today that we want to create is the HR managers group. So the, the members of this group must be part of the HR department and also have the job title of a manager. So let's see how we can do that. So again, from the Azure Active Directory, go to the groups on the left side panel and create a new group, a security group, and we will call it HR Managers. And again, we will pick the dynamic user. 
And for the uh, owners, we'll pick both managers as well. Didn't work. <laughs> so the NZHR manager, Australia, HR manager, select those guys. Next, we want to create the rule or the query that we will use to automatically add members to our group. So let's click on Add Dynamic Query. And the first property that we want to check against is the job title. So we want to pick users that have the job title of a manager. So job title equals manager. And to make sure that we only pick users that have a job title of managers that work for the HR department. So if we leave our policy just like that, we all pick every manager in our organization. We don't want that. We want only managers that work in the HR department. So we will add another expression here. So let's click on add expression. So the next property here, we will pick the department. So department equals HR. So the operator in here, we've got something called a logical operator, an AND, an OR, an OR. So the AND means is that both conditions must apply. The user must have the job title of a manager and also work in the HR department. If we use the OR, any user that actually have the title of a manager or works in the HR department will qualify for our policy here. And that's not what we want. We want only users that work in the HR department and also have the title of a manager. So we need to pick and. So as you can see in the syntax here, the user must be um, must have the job title of a manager and also must be part of the HR department. So let's save that. And now let's create our group. Now that we successfully created all our groups, we need to check the membership of each group. So let's pick the Australia group. Let's check the members for the Australia group. And as you can see here, we've got HR users that live in Australia. And let's go back again. Let's check the HR group. And then again to members. And this includes every employee that we've got in our organization now because all these employees are actually part of the HR department. The final group is the HR managers. Let's check the members of this group. And as you can see here, we only have two members because only those two users qualify for both conditions that we created under the dynamic membership rule, which says that the job title of the user must be manager and the user must be working in the HR department. We didn't specify the country, so that didn't matter that one of them actually lives in New Zealand and the other lives in Australia. So we only have the HR users with the title of a manager. As you can see here, we are able to automatically populate our groups with members without us having to manually add each member individually. We just create a rule that will check one of the attributes of one or more attributes of the user, and if they qualify, they will be automatically added to our group. One last thing I want to show you here, let's assume one of our users. So let's go back to the Azure Active Directory here, and then to Users, and let's pick the user Albert Einstein. The user Albert Einstein is part of the HR department, and he lives in New Zealand. Let's assume that they were uh, an opening for a role of a manager, in Australia. And the user of Einstein actually applied for it and got that role. Let's now check what groups the user is part of. So from the user profile, click on groups. And as you can see here, he's part of the HR group and the New Zealand group. Since the user is changing countries and moving from New Zealand to Australia, 
We don't have to manually remove the user from the New Zealand group and add him to the Australian group. We just need to change the attribute of the user profile. So let's go back to the user profile. And then we need to change the country from New Zealand to Australia. So let's edit the user profile by clicking on the edit on the top and then changing the country to Australia. Let's save it. What will happen now is that the user will no longer qualify to become part of the New Zealand group because the country is no longer New Zealand. So he will be removed from the New Zealand group. And also the user will now qualify to be added to the Australian group because the country is now Australia. So he will be automatically added to the Australian group. And as you can see here, this is the power of the dynamic membership group. The last thing that we want to do is that the user has got the role of a manager. So we want to change his job title to become a manager. This will also automatically add him to the HR group because he has got the HR department and also has got the manager job title. So he should qualify for the HR group. So let's edit his details and add the job title of manager. Now let's check the user groups by clicking on groups. And as you can see here, the user is no longer part of the New Zealand group. Instead, he's part of the Australian group. He is still part of the HR group because he didn't change department. And now he's part of the HR managers because he is an HR employee and also a manager. As you can see here, we were able to use the user attributes to dynamically add members to our group. And also we were able to remove a user from one group and add it to other group just by changing the user attributes. So I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And as always, stay strong. Kia kaha. See ya.